Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Luke Ness Monster, and today's a little bit of a different video, but we actually 3D printed a clone helmet. I've been trying to print this thing forever, and I just finally got my printer up and running, and we were able to print the last piece we needed. So yeah, super, super excited to finally get this thing finished. So today, we're going to be gluing this thing together. We're going to start with these two pieces right here, and then we'll do the top last, but I do have some... Gorilla Glue here that I will be using to glue it together, and yeah, no, nothing left but to do it, I guess. So this is actually my first time using this type of Gorilla Glue. The type that I had before expanded when it uh, dried, and so because of that it would leave cracks in the thing that I was gluing. So I decided to go with this brand. According to my research, it shouldn't expand when it dries, so fingers crossed, but yeah, we we will see. So what I think I'm going to do is flip these guys upside down so it is a flat surface and they should line up just like so. And then what I'm actually probably going to do is just put a few little dots up and down here and then I will hold it together and let it dry. I probably won't film me doing this one so this camera isn't in the way of like my reach for holding stuff. It also, I don't know how long I'll be holding it before it will be able to cure so... I will uh, not be filming this part, but I will cut to when I have them glued together. Alrighty, so we do have these two pieces glued together, and I think it turned out really, really well. There's a little gap right here, like just separation between the two, but that has absolutely nothing to do with like me lining it up. It's just this, this piece is shorter. It's not by that much, so I'm not too worried about it, but uh, you know, it does kind of suck. But you know, not a big deal. We do have to flip this thing around and glue on the top now. Alrighty guys, so here's a quick update on the helmet. We did use some uh, filler sandable to fill it in and we did sand it. There's still a few spots that I could probably go over again, but that is what this is for. On the top we've been using spackle and yeah, just straight up wall spackle and i think it's coming out pretty good um i know that that's just what i use for my 3d prints obviously you can use other stuff like bondo or stuff like that but i do personally like spackle it's easy to sand and it works pretty well so yeah we do have to do the rest of the helmet though but i think it's coming along pretty good Alrighty, guys so we did get something in the mail i did order this from etsy and it just shipped from the united kingdom so yeah let's go ahead and uh get this open don't i guess i don't really need a knife but it is packaged pretty good so um let's do that did order a few things from their etsy shop That looks like, first up we do have, oh, I just threw it, don't want to throw it, get it back up here. First up, just a little piece of paper, I'm guessing it's cardstock to keep them straight. But first up we do have two decals here. We got Clone Trooper Hardcase, and we got Vaughn. Can't wait to do these, and then we also got this bad boy right here. Looks like just some instructions, maybe. But it is for Gregor. So we got an entire Gregor decal. Ton of uh, stuff here to put on. But I did make my custom boss a little while ago. And the normal boss got released, so I don't really need the custom boss anymore. So we're going to be changing this into Gregor. Cannot wait for that. Super, super excited. I've seen some photos that just look absolutely incredible. So yeah, I am really, really excited to do that. Cannot wait. Yeah, I am pretty excited for the hard case one. And then of course we do have the Vaughn decal as well. I do have my helmet already for that. It's not a perfect Vaughn helmet, but honestly I could care less. This is one that I actually got for free that somebody sent me with another one of my 3D printer orders. And I think it was because it was a misprint, so they just threw it in for free. But it 
looks pretty good. I think the only thing right there is that the visor is broken in the back. But honestly, it's pretty perfect, and I'm going to go with it. So that's what this decal is for. I'm uh, pretty excited to see how it goes. Alrighty, guys, so here's an update on the Gregor decal. Uh, it's coming along pretty well. There's a few pieces that have just kind of messed up. Like, I didn't do the alignment very well on the leg here, so there's a big gap. And then the back plate is just kind of crumbling apart. But other than that, the decals have been going on super, super nice. So we do have a few more pieces to do, the arms and then the helmet and then the backpack as well. But yeah, honestly, it's been coming along a lot better than I thought it would. I thought it was going to mess up horribly. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. Let's go ahead and finish this thing up. I've been doing it for a few days, but I will have a video uh, solely dedicated to me decaling this out in a little bit. Alrighty, guys, so today we do have a box to open. This is something I did order on Amazon. I thought it was pretty cool. So it is a little smaller than I expected. I was expecting it to be a little bigger, but that's just my fault for not looking closely. We do have a bag of screws and a screwdriver. We got a ton of these little platforms. We got the poles, a little cleaning thing, and the main vase. So this is a display stand for figures, like kind of like a risers, but more of a fancy looking risers. So let's go ahead and see what we could do about putting this together. So we do have all of our little uh, display stands out. And just for reference, the Black Series figure will barely fit on them. Some of them will fit better than others if they like... They just got to keep their feet pretty close together. But I think this will be a pretty cool display stand. So let's go ahead and get all these pipes on. And uh, let's just get this set up. Anyway, guys, here's the stand. There are several different levels here. And I think it looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and stand some figures on here and see what it looks like. Here is a look at this stand. And honestly, I think it came out pretty good. I think one thing is there is like a height difference here. But if you have a taller character like... Uh, Grief Karga compared to Casca Reeves, he kind of does overpower her just because he's a taller character. So maybe I say put the taller males in back because just the female characters are a lot shorter. So maybe put them in front. Other than that, though, uh, I think it looks really, really good. So yeah, the stand came out pretty good. Like I said, it's a little smaller than I expected, but honestly, it gets the job done. So I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Alrighty guys, so today is now Sunday, and we're gonna go check my P.O. box. Somebody did say that they were gonna send me something a few months ago. Not a few months ago, it was a few weeks ago. About a month probably now. And I completely forgot about it. So we're gonna go see if he actually shipped it or not. So yeah, let's go check the P.O. box. Pretty excited to see what it is. Alrighty guys, so we just got back from the P.O. box. Unfortunately... There was nothing, but, um, you know, it is what it is. It's probably gonna do it for the video, though. If you did enjoy it, hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.